Lorenz Driver is the new seasonal exotic weapon in Season of the Lost, and this is great timing due to a major buff given to linear fusion rifles this season with the artifact mod, specifically particle deconstruction. So this weapon is surprisingly popular in PvP as well as PvE, so today I'm going to check out how to get the weapon, plus look at the stats and also the catalyst, so you can supercharge it and make it even more deadly. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Lawrence Driver is an exotic energy linear fusion rifle, and looking at the perks, we've got Lagrangian Sight, so this weapon marks targets with an automated targeting system. Final blows on the marked targets generate a telemetry pattern, and picking up telemetry patterns grant bonus ability energy. So collecting three telemetry patterns without dying grants this weapon bonus damage for a long duration. Then we have the EM Anomaly, so a precision final blow with the weapon creates an implosion that pulls in nearby targets and damages them with additional detonation. So looking at the stats, we've got 41 for impact, 44 for range, 52 for stability, 32 for handling, 35 for reload speed, it's got a charge time of 533, and it's got 6 in the magazine. Well next up, let's have a look at how to get the Lawrence Driver. So to get this exotic linear fusion rifle, you do have two ways. So for season pass holders, in Season of the Lost, you can unlock this immediately on the pay track of the Season Pass. And if you are a free-to-play player, then no worries, you can unlock it at rank 35 of the Season Pass. So it is available for everyone to get. In the future, if you're watching this and it's not Season of the Lost, for example, if you're watching this in Witch Queen and you're running around wondering where to get the Lawrence Driver, then it's very likely it's going to go to the Monuments to Lost Lights in the Tower. And that is the exotic kiosk you can find next to your vault. What you have to do is select Beyond Light Exotics, and there you're going to find the Lawrence Driver. So we don't know 100% this is going to happen in the future. However, I think it is reasonable to assume, given the other seasonal exotics have ended up in the exotic kiosk in the tower. So getting the weapon is one thing, but getting the catalyst is another, as it makes it really, really good. So next up, let's have a look at how to get the Lawrence Driver catalyst. So once you've got the Lawrence Driver, then head to Banshee 44 to pick up the catalyst quest. And that one is called Revision 7.2.2. So step one, you have to defeat 50 challenging combatants. Then you have to defeat 50 enemy guardians. And then defeat 15 champions or high value targets. So season pass owners do get a little bit of help here at ranks 11 and 22 on the season pass with a booster. So there's another incentive there to get the season pass. So rank 11 doubles and rank 22 quadruples the progress, which is very, very nice indeed. The best thing to do here is jump into Gambit as there's plenty of challenging and high value targets and this is going to make this step really really quick. Also you've got your guardians in there too with invasions or invading so you can pretty much complete this step in Gambit if you want. However saying that you can go into Crucible and that's going to help you get those guardian kills done as well. This one is particularly popular in PvP, I've seen loads in Trials and Iron Banner so it is worth taking it into PvP and giving it a whirl. So once you've done that it's on to step 2. So for step 2 you've got 200 calibration data generated Defeat 50 enemy guardians with Lorenz Driver and 100 combatants defeated with Lorenz Driver as well. So calibration data is from playlist activities, so non-season pass holders are going to get one point of progress per activity, like strikes, crucible matches and gambit. And season pass holders are going to get four points per activity at season pass rank 22, and then five for higher tier nightfalls or gambit and crucible wins as well. So for defeating guardians, I would head to crucible and momentum control is going to be your friend here, and that is going to help you get it done nice and quickly due to the quicker time to kill. And then the final step is nice and easy, simply get 100 kills in PvE with Lorenz Driver. So what I did here is jump into Override, or something like that, and you can get it done nice and quickly. So step 3 is the final step, and it is like other catalysts, you have to get kills with the Lorenz Driver. You can do this anywhere you think is best, and I quite like the Shiro Chi location in the Last Wish Raid, or you can do it in the Shattered Throne Dungeon, the Thrallway or something like that, basically anywhere where there's loads of enemies, like Blindwell, that's also good too, and you are going to need 400 kills in total to complete the Catalyst, so it isn't really that bad. Well next up, let's have a look at what Lorenz Driver Catalyst does. So the Catalyst increases the range where the radar marks random enemies for players, and you get that Lagrangian Sight feature active. You're also going to get improved EM Anomaly, and that works for non-precision final blows, and that means Lorenz Driver creates more black holes reliably and often. This works when that Lagrangian Sight is active, and it also improves the Lagrangian Sight. 
extending the duration and refreshing that 30 second timer. So overall, the Catalyst is really, really good, and it makes Lorenz Driver even more powerful. So to be honest, this is one of my favorite exotic weapons that Bungie have done for some time, and the audio and the sound design just alone, really, really good. I think the designers at Bungie have coined it the Star Wars weapon. You can really hear it when you use it. It sounds like a few joys kind of chattering. It's really, really good fun. Well, finally today, don't forget about the Particle Deconstruction mod. So the meta this season is either a fusion rifle or a linear fusion rifle with the artifact mod Particle Deconstruction. That can be found in the final column at the bottom, and it's going to make melting bosses with a fusion or linear fusion rifles very easy this season, and I think it's really going to help you out with Lawrence Driver. So I would prioritise getting hold of that particle deconstruction ASAP. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Lawrence Driver. I'd love to hear what you think of it, and also what do you think of the exotic design compared to other exotic weapons. Well, that's it for this guide for how to get the Lawrence Driver and its catalyst in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.